Okay, um, to do my speech bubbles, um, a couple of different ways. One, you can cut them on the Cricut, and I will show you, uh, or leave a link on the description for this video that shows how you line up things on the Cricut if you've already printed them. Um, I have a little video I did some time ago about that, so I'll give you a link for that in case you uh, want to use your Cricut to cut your speech bubbles. I use the Plantin School Book cartridge to do mine. Um, I'm going to do most of my speech bubbles uh, this way. I printed them in Microsoft, typed them up in Microsoft Word and printed them out. The instructions for that will be in the PDF that goes uh, with this uh, video and there'll be a link for that also in the description. So I just uh, printed them out in Microsoft Word and then I'm just trimming around the edges and then uh, placing them on the layout. And the third way we'll use um, a circle cutter, actually an oval cutter. I'm going to use the Creative Memories oval cutter. You could use um, a circle punch or an oval punch. Either one to create um, your speech bubbles that way. Okay. So here's the one from Microsoft Word. And then if I'm wanting to use a circle cutter, okay, I'm going to line up my oval cutter, this is a Creative Memories one, over the speech bubble that I want to use and just cut around it. And then I'll take my scissors and cut a little triangle and glue the triangle underneath the circle. And then you have a speech bubble. So that's a really easy way of doing them. Just type up your text, cut around them, and then you can place them on your layout wherever you want. Or you can do them uh, the Microsoft Word way and that will give you the, the border around the edge and you can cut them out that way. Or you can do them with a Cricut or a stamp. Lots of different ways to do the speech bubbles. So I'm going to cut all these out and get them ready for the layout. When I cut out these um, designs, a lot of times I'll end up with a little bit of white showing. So I take a marker and just go around the edge and that um, usually covers up any of the white that didn't quite get cut off. Of course, you could leave a white border as well. And I attached these with um, dimensional adhesive. Okay. Now, I've put my title on, and I'm going to have my little vignette over here with my people and some, um, uh, some more of these bubbles, speech bubbles. But the, one of the problems I have is this area. Um, I don't really have anything to go here. I still need to put the date somewhere. Um, I decided not to put the date on this tab that goes for the hidden journaling. So I'm, I need to put it over here, but I, the sketch had some circles. And I still need something because this is really bare. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is cutting some designs that look sort of like snowflakes since this really all happened in the winter time. And I've got the Cricut going, uh, doing some of this other stuff. So I found this design out of the Storybook cartridge. I believe it's Storybook cartridge. Yeah, it is. Um, that I could cut and maybe use three of these and some different sizes along here and maybe one large one underneath uh, my little people to uh, finish off my page. Okay, I've cut several designs from that Cricut image from the storybook cartridge and I'm going to use some of them over here on the right side of the page. On this side of the page I have a place where I wanted to put some of the little wooden people and some conversation bubbles and so what I think I'm going to do is use a, uh, a die cut as a mask and I'm going to be working with um, some ink that's the same, supposedly the same color as this this background paper, it is the same color if you stamp it, but when you use it on top of this color, it comes off a little bit darker. So this is Crumb Cake uh, from Stampin' Up. And I'm just going to sponge this over top of my mask. I could adhere the mask down with temporary adhesive, but I think I'm going to hang on to it and it will work okay. This would have been a great thing to mist, 
but I have so much stuff on my layout, including all my title and everything, that I didn't really want to try to have to cover a bunch of stuff up and mist. Um, if you were watching my last video, I had a misting mishap. I have done some misting since then. I'm not gun shy. Um, it just, in this case, I didn't think it was real practical. Uh, it would have been great if I'd thought about it at the beginning. I have to work this uh, ink into all the little crevices. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, that's great. Now, um, then I can arrange the people and the uh, speech bubbles on top of this. And I'll have some of the same kind of design that I'm going to have over on this side of the page. Let's scoot the page over. So on this side of the page, I've just uh, cut three of these same die designs from the um, Cricut. And I'm going to use one of them in its full size. And so I don't have room for a full three of them. I'm going to cut them down and cut out the outside ring of each one. The outside ring of this one and then two outside rings of the uh, next one down and add just a little bit of ink to the edges to get to help them pop out. Okay, I just glued these in the middle so that they could kind of pop a little bit around the edges there. And I have from my letter stickers these little green um, asterisks and I'm going to use these in the center of each one. And that will tie in the um, letter stickers from the other side of the page. Okay, here's our final page. The last thing I added was the date down here in the lower right hand corner. And let's take a look at the sketch. I used the 14 photos and pattern paper. Um, I did two pieces of most of the pattern papers. Um, and then I did some of the circle embellishments here. Uh, but on this side I just did the masked circle and then put a little vignette with those um, Studio Calico people. And added quite a few of the speech bubbles on top of some of the pattern paper for several of the photos since that was kind of my topic for this two week uh, layout was to focus more on what we said than what we than just what we did. I have a little bit of journaling tucked in as we had some things that we didn't want really want to have out on the layout all the time and that's the page. So if you'd like more details about this, please check out my blog. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Thank you.